watching Times of Refreshing with Joanne Bateman. I am uber excited today because I have a special guest. I love it when I have special guests. This is so exciting for me. But I have a special guest today, and I'm going to introduce her to you in just a moment. But I want to kind of give you a um, heads up, a little insight into what we're going to be talking about today. So I don't know if you are aware, but did you know that Psalms 139 in the Bible teaches us that our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made? Our bodies, these bodies, your body is fearfully and wonderfully made. So it's amazing. And everything that God has put in our bodies work together for good. And I learned some years ago that our cells regenerate themselves, our blood cells and our um, organ tissue cells regenerate themselves. I don't know if it's every 24 hours or 48 hours, but on a regular cyclical basis. And so if we feed our bodies the right foods and give our bodies the right um, input, then when our cells regenerate, they won't regenerate sick. They won't regenerate unhealthy. They'll regenerate better and they'll be on the road to health. So today we're going to be talking about how juicing, raw foods, whole food juicing, how juicing can help to bring healing to our bodies. And um, my guest today is Miss Janisha, Mrs. Janisha Tillman. She is a wife, a mother, an entrepreneur, and she's going to tell you, and she loves God. Let's put that in there. That's so important. <laughs> yeah. She's going to tell you all about um, just what God has done through juicing in her life and in the life of her family. So hello, Miss Janisha. Hi. Thanks for having me. You are so welcome. And I should have told you guys that she's also my niece. So don't trip if she calls me Auntie Jo. It is yes. like it. We're family. <laughs> family. So <laughs> welcome. I'm so glad you were able to be with us today. I am so excited that you're going to be sharing with us your family story. Um, I don't want to give any of it away. I want to turn it over to you. I want you to do two things for me. The first thing I want you to do, Ms. Janisha, is just kind of share with us how you learned of juicing and, and um, what impact it has had. And so in that, you probably will end up telling us a little bit about your family's um, story of healing. So yes. go ahead, tell us about yes. it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so, so happy to be here and I'm excited to share my story. Um, I'll try to make it kind of short because it's, it's, it's a long story, sure. but um, so basically about two years ago now, our son, Evan, who is now six, he was four at the time. Um, he was diagnosed with lymphoma, which um, if anybody does doesn't know what that is. It's a type of blood cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and to make a really long story short, he basically ended up having to have um, five rounds of chemo, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. It might have been six, um, mm -hmm. as well as um, 30 days of radiation. Wow. And during that time, with chemo, your body goes through so much. Mm -hmm. um, the way that chemo works, just to kind of Put, that, put this in here really fast, is that it, it goes in and it strips your body of pretty much all of its, um, the fast reproducing cells in your body. Oh, wow. Um, whether they be good or bad. And so mm -hmm. with, uh, um, with chemo, it makes a lot of people sick. And so with that, mm -hmm. uh, while trying to cure the cancer, it actually kind of made him sick as well. And so during that time, I just remember feeling so, so, helpless mm. and I'm sure I'm sure that any mom would feel that way when their child their baby you know is going through something so detrimental to That's their true. health yeah. and I, yes and I remember at the time um feeling helpless and just praying and asking God you know um to take that feeling away from me and trying mm -hmm. to figure out ways that I could help um in the situation and I remember kind of doing some researching on the type of cancer he had and just okay. trying to figure out ways that I could help. And one of the things that came up was juicing. Mm. And so as, as I began to look into it, um, I saw that juicing just produced all of these super benefits for your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so th through that, God revealed to me that I didn't have to feel helpless. There was something that I could do that mm. I could, you know, give give him things that his body would absorb, absorb that would help mm -hmm. him. 
um, in the long run. And so that's when I found juicing and I kind of started juicing for him to help him after chemo and radiation to be able to not, not just um, keep his food down, but to also kind of help his body and his immune system replenish itself. Oh yeah. That is so awesome. So one of the things and help me if I'm saying this incorrectly, because I know you've done lots of research on it, on juicing, but one, my understanding of one of the great benefits of juicing is that when we consume the nutrients that comes from our fresh whole fruits and vegetables, when we consume it in the juice form, it goes directly to our cellular level, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. So yeah. it's, it's in a, um, like you said, it's in a juice form, it's in a liquid form. So it's able to go straight into your body and into your bloodstream yes. and you know, do whatever it needs to do. So and juicing mm-hmm. actually has what they call um, phytochemicals or phytonutrients. Mm-hmm. And they are the things that make like your fruits and your vegetables look so vibrant and have like all of the, the pretty colors. Yeah. And what, yeah. And what phytonutrients do is they, they kind of help rebuild your immune system. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's so good to know. So, you know, what what I'm thinking right now is even a person without cancer, right? Even someone without cancer can juice and just get a head start on good health and just help their cells as they regenerate regularly, as we said at the top of the show. When, um, when we juice and we drink that juice, it bypasses all of the digestion and just goes right into the bloodstream. And so our digestive system doesn't have to do a lot of work. So it saves a lot of energy because our body uses so much energy just digesting food, right? Yes, yes, that that is so, yeah, that's correct, yes. Yeah. And that's why um, I tell people now, it's better to be proactive than reactive yes. um, yes. You know, to a situation and with your health. And so even when he was doing that, I did it too, of course, because I was pre- preparing everything. So I said, yeah. I might as well. And I, you know, received so many benefits as well. Oh, um, so yeah, one of the things that I was dealing with during the time was just major anxiety and major depression. Oh, and by wow. removing all of the, um, you know, just the the things that we consume, like you were saying, and that we, our body has to take the time to digest, yeah. I just felt lighter more free, less anxiety, better sleep. So yes, my whole it. house, yes, my whole household was able to benefit from it. So Amen. I love that better sleep. And you know, when I think about juicing, I think about how the fact that it does go directly into our cells to the cellular level rather. And when that happens, it makes me think um, even with the allergy asthma stuff that I battle with and that I'm on the mend from, what I'm discovering is when I juice, I, I'm getting a head start, like you said, and I am uh, putting my body in a position for my cells that are going to be regenerated to regenerate in a more healthy manner. So yes. they don't regenerate with junk food. They regenerate now with some juice interaction. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's from the juice. And so they, be get, they begin to get healthier. And then the next time they re- regenerate, if I continue to juice, they're getting even healthier. And so what that translates into for me is better sleep, like you said, right? Um, Better blood pressure, just all the things that we really want, especially from someone my age, as we get older in life and someone your age, you know, without age having to be a factor right now, you can get even a greater head start, right? On good health with juicy. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, um, Real quick, tell me as Evan was, uh, you were incorporating juicing in his life. Tell me what, what did you see in Evan in his recovery? What were some of the things you began to witness? I know we don't, we're not going to tell everything, right? But just (laughs) some things that were key to you that you thought would be beneficial for people to know. Yes. So um, one of the things that I saw with Evan right off the bat is that when we, um, when we were at the hospital um, Mm -hmm. on the oncology ward with the other children who were dealing with, you know, very similar battles. It just seemed like Evan had a lot more energy, Mm -hmm. um, you know, compared to some of the other children, as well as um, I personally believe that Evan did not have to take a lot of the um, opioid pain medications, some of the stronger pain medications that we, you know, kind of, as we went on our journey, found out that it was very common, um, Mm -hmm. for children to have to take, 
um, some really, really big pain medication. So um, he didn't really have to do those things. Um, he had a lot of energy. His, his sleep was, you know, um, pretty good for somebody who was, you know, going through his circumstances for the most yeah. part. So, and people would, people would look at him and say, well, you know, if obviously he didn't have the little bald head from the chemo, then they, right. wouldn't even, they wouldn't even be able to tell that, you know, he was going through a fight. So yeah, um, yeah I was very, very grateful. And I will say too, that um, Evan helped me a lot. I always uh-huh. say that, um, and I'll get into my business later, later, yeah. but he was, he was the total 100% inspiration behind my business and wow. such a, such a big help because he, it was a, um, a learning, a learning thing for both of us. So we both get in the kitchen and he would tell me, mom, that doesn't taste good. Mom, that tastes good. So <laughs> he helped me a lot. Um, so, cause I'm like, babe, you're, we're going to have to drink this juice. And he's like, well, mom, I need it not to be nasty. So we had to come <laughs> together. And <laughs> oh, so, <my> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. He's giving you immediate feedback, mom. Yes. That's not good. Yes. And so, but since, since you're speaking about what's good, what's not good, what tastes good, what doesn't taste good, tell us about sugar and the impact of just the naturally uh, producing sugars in our fruits, for example, and some of the vegetables and how that um, impacted your choice for juice recipes for Evan, because yeah. we know that sugar um, will cause any bacteria or cancer. So it re- reproduces them, right? Instead yeah. of, um, or increases the growth, perhaps something yeah. like that. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes. Um, so that's one of the things that I learned early on when I was doing my research is that, mm-hmm. um, you know, cancer cells and cells that are just um, in a bad position in our body, they mm-hmm. feed it off of, you know, sugars and and things like that. And one of the things that I ran into in my research is that, um, so fruits have a natural sugar, which we still, we still don't want too much of it, but it's still better than all of the sugars that we get from like our sugary drinks and Coca-Colas and, and all of that stuff. And so yes, processed stuff. And so with that Mm -hmm. being said, um, in the beginning, what I did was I juice more, vegetables yeah um and then i tried to make sure that the the sweeter juices i mean i'm sorry the sweeter fruits Mm -hmm. um would come in as a smaller portion okay um if that makes sense so i kind of tried to find a a balance where he was consuming more vegetable juice than fruit juice but of course we had to have a little bit of the um, fruits to kind of you know help that taste (laughs) yes Absolutely. Yeah. It's Absolutely. about balance. Yeah. <laughs> I think about um I think about when I think about fruit and, and helping the taste of it, I think about green apples. You know, green yeah. apples are um they're tart to us when we eat them, but it's amazing how they add just a little bit of sweetness to whatever yes. vegetable blend we're we're juicing. Isn't that something? Yes, yes, I love it. Yeah. 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 Well, wonderful. Let's see here. I want to, okay, let's go ahead and tell us a little bit about your business. Cause I don't even want to give the name. Oh, by the <laughs> way, guys, before Janisha tells her, tells us about her business, we have some pictures. We're going to share some pictures at the end. So stick around, uh, hang in there to the end. You're going to see a little bit of Evan's journey and you're going to get to see their beautiful family and learn more about their business, their logo, how you can reach out to Miss Janisha and all of that. Okay. All right, Janisha, tell us about your business. What yes. is it? How it came about? All of it. Okay. Yes. Um. So my business is name is Living Juice. And um, like I was saying before, is that um, my business was started um, as an inspiration from what our family had went through. And so um, during that time, as I was learning mm-hmm. things and I was juicing for Evan, I would share a lot of um, the juices and the different things that I was making um, via my social media platforms. Yeah. And <clears throat> there was a young man who at the time had, this was his fifth time battling um, stomach cancer. Oh, wow. Um, he had reached out to me as he saw what I was doing for Evan and said, well, I don't really know where to start. Can I just, you know, um, give you some funds to make me some juice? Wow. And so, yeah. And so I, I was kind of a little apprehensive at first because I'm like, mm-hmm. at this point, I'm just doing it for my son and my family. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And so, but I went ahead and stepped out on faith and I, I did that for him. And he was like, have you ever thought about, you know, doing this as a business? And I was like, well, I, I really hadn't thought too much about it. <laughs> and that, that was the beginning of it. So yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. And you don't know, you know, sometimes we don't know when God has given us something wonderful until God allows someone to reach out to us and say, hey, tell me about it. How'd you do that? I want to know more. And that's kind of, isn't that something? Yeah. That, that gentleman, he, the Lord used that young man to, um, to kind of spur you along and to give you a gift, you know, that is your business living juice. And again, guys, we're going to provide um, uh, Ms. Janisha's information regarding living juice, her business, how to contact her, what her social media platform um, platforms are and all of that. So that's going to be right at the end in the credits. So stick around and stick around for those before and after pictures of little Evan, who is not so little anymore. No. And he now look like his dad. Hello. Yes, I dad. know. <laughs> Just saying. I thought for sure you had just one of the three that was going to look like me. And yet, here comes Evan, growing up, looking like his dad, which is not a bad thing at all. But he (laughs) looks like his dad, just like his brothers. So I think it's so funny and cute at the same time. So you're going to tell us about your one of your favorite juices. I know you probably have several, but you share with me one of your favorites. So tell us about it. And I've already gone ahead and got some stuff together. So tell us about what one of your favorites is the one we're going to be making today. Okay. Yes. Well, my favorite um, is what I've, I've named it Citrus Burst. Um, Citrus. Okay. Yeah, Citrus Burst. And mm-hmm. um, so basically it consists of uh, turmeric, uh, lemons, ginger, and pineapple. Okay. Okay. And uh, one of the things that I found out during my research is that a lot of um, citrusy juices and citrusy fruits, um, mm-hmm. they are good for detoxing your body um, okay. as well as helping with inflammation. So this is one of right. the juices that I made a lot um, because the flavor is is awesome, too. Um, oh, and so, cool. Yes, I made this one a lot for Evan. Nice. So this pineapple. So I've gone ahead and I've. Um, gotten and gathered and prepped the items. Uh, can you guys see this? Okay. Prep the items that um, Jamisha shared in the recipe for the citrus first juice. So we have pineapple, a whole pineapple. Now I thought this was really interesting. So this doesn't sound like it's going to yield like three days worth of juice, right? This is going right. to be like a juice for one person or two people, yes. <laughs> but it's a pineapple, a whole pineapple cut up and stuff. And I like to keep the core when I'm juicing, I don't worry about the center, you know, the part that we really can't eat. I always um, keep that in the juice. I'm sure there's some healthy um, benefits to that. And it goes through the juicer just fine. So I keep that. I don't cut around that. So this is a whole pineapple. And then she said half of a lemon peeled. And then um, now, Janisha, you said, now look at this. You said a finger, a pinky nail. Listen, a pinky (laughs) nail (laughs) size of turmeric turmeric okay. yeah i don't know if that's big enough but i have some more this is the turmeric root guys so i've cut just a little piece off and we'll see miss jamisha do i need more than that little bit um do you mind holding it up again i'm sorry oh sure sure like that is that um uh, maybe just a smidgen more a smidgen um, more okay. i would say, i would say of about the same about okay another size like that okay and mm-hmm. then you said a thumbnail size of ginger yes that's perfect that's perfect because yes. you know I got my ginger on here. Yes. I'm ready to go because I love a lot of ginger. Yes. Now, that's enough lemon. Oh uh, yes. Well, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna get a little bit more um, turmeric. Just one second. Get a little bit more turmeric. Just about that size. Okay. And I have my little kitchen hack. Those of you who follow my videos no I have a little kitchen hack back here a little trash can that I hang on the door so there's a little bit more is that good or not yes that's that's perfect okay all right so does it matter how we begin where we start um no it doesn't actually and um like you were saying before that yes this juice would probably be enough for two people my measurements are always so large because I'm always trying to make sure my whole family has (laughs) has enough so, well, you, but I like to, I like to make enough usually for like three days because yes. that's, 
somewhere I read that you can keep your juice for about three days in a glass container in the refrigerator yeah. before yeah. it starts, you know, get putrid or whatever. Go back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to start with the pineapple. Yes. And have you ever done this particular recipe with um, green apple? I haven't, but that sounds so good. I That's love green good. apples. I, yes. Yeah. So I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, man, green apple. I wonder. That would, that would probably be awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to have to try that. Yeah. I just love green apple. Um because it does add a little sweet flavor, but it doesn't have a lot of, it doesn't have the sugar that like say a Washington apple or something like that might have, you know, one of the red apples. Yeah, one of the red apples. Right. Right, we're getting there. Miss Jamisha, they're gonna love, these viewers are gonna love you because the last time I made juice, um, well, a couple of times I made, I made enough for three days. So I was just going and talking, going and talking. And I bet they were like, okay, are we going to be done? <laughs> so, but Miss Jamisha's juice is like, boom, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going to say, even with the, um, the ginger and the turmeric, um, yes. you know, if you want to make this later, or if anybody wants to make this later, you can add to your taste. Okay. Um, that's that's I know some people do like a lot of ginger and ginger has a spicier flavor so oh, I'd always try to stick with just like a little thumb of okay. it or my <laughs> now would it be okay for me to put just a little bit a uh, little bit more lemon I need something to push the rest of this ginger and tur- turmeric through sure just put a little bit okay just one more sure. I just need something to push it on through because it's so such a small amount right yes I need something Okay. And now the lemon got stuck. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Your juicer are juice so fast. It goes fast. I know. Speaking of juicers, right? You have, man, a lot. You have that champion, right? Oh, champion. Um, yes. I actually have the um uh, the Omega. Omega. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's a professional grade juicer, yeah? Yes, yes. They have yeah. really good juicers. Um, that's that's one of the things that I, I kind of researched as well as I found out that there were right. so many different types of juicers. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, I decided to go with Omega. It's a really and, good juicer. Yeah, and it pri- it's pretty pricey, right? It for is. Upper end, yeah. But it, um, it yields very dry pulp, right? Yes, that's that's yes. so yes. you're gonna get all that juice that you want. Now this does pretty good because we got a masticating juicer as well, but it's yes. just not as high quality as your omega. And so it, the um pulp isn't as uh wet as say yes. that what is that thing called centrifugal juicer? Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm ready. I need my camera up here. I am ready so that we can do this. Okay, Miss Jamisha, you already know I'm gonna tell the truth. <laughs> Let's see. It looks so pretty. It doesn't it look delicious? Oh, it looks like sunshine in a glass, right? It does. Like you said, what did you call it? Citrus burst. Citrus burst, yeah. Okay. All right. Mmm, <laughs> this is really, really delicious. So immediately, I mean the pineapple is everything. Yeah. But I taste the lemon. So there's that cleanse, right? Mm-hmm. Ability to cleanse. And I even taste the turmeric just a little bit. Yes. And the ginger is perfect. Yes. It's just the yes. right amount. This is really good. This is not going to be real sweet. So if you're looking for something sweet, you're probably mm-hmm. going to have to add an apple, right? Or something. Yep. <laughs> but this is not very sweet and it tastes wonderful. It tastes like it makes you feel good. You yes. know what I mean? It yes. tastes like it will make you feel good. So I am looking forward to this. I'm sorry, honey. This is look like it's just enough for me. <laughs> I'm just saying, Jamisha only gave me, listen, we had that little big piece of this and that and the other and a whole kind <laughs> of, and it's all we get. So it's mine. I'm going to have to make some for my husband. But, um, <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you so much, Jamisha, for your time. Thank you so much for just your passion and your yes, giving God your yes and um, starting the business, Living Juice. Because I'm telling you, people are sleeping on this juicing situation. Yeah. Okay? I think yeah. people don't understand the benefits, so many benefits. And I, I don't want to wait until I 
get some sickness or ailment in my body for real before I go hard reducing. I want to do my best now to hopefully create cells, right, that are happy and healthy so that I won't ever have to have to have it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Any last words before we close out? Um, I was just going to say, um, I heard you earlier say that um, it helps with regeneration. And it's so funny because yesterday I was just writing out some things that um, juicing does for your body. And I came up with the three R's, but now I'm going to have to change it to the four R's and add regenerate. But it was um, restore, reproduce, mm -hmm. replenish, and now regenerate. So Yes. Yes. Regenerate healthy cells, right? Yes. Yes. That's so good. I'm excited. Thank you again for being with us. I Thank am so grateful me. that you took the time and we're going to share real quick right here in just a moment on the end of the, uh, with, in the outro, um, the conclusion of the video, uh, we're going to share your before and after pictures from Evan's journey. And we're also going to share all the details about your business. So folks hit her up on all of her social media platforms figure out, find out how you can get this juice in your life. It's really delicious. And I just don't want to be a glutton and just go for it right in front of y'all. But I'm about to have this and my husband, I'm going to have to make him something separate. So, because this is mine. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. God bless you, Janisha. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.